one, uh, I want to thank the organizers of the conference for giving us the opportunity to be here. I am Richard Gonzalez, and I am physics teacher in high school in Uruguay. Uh, the title of this presentation is Educational Website to Teach Relativistic Dynamics at High School and Introductory University Level. Uh, we carry out this research uh, together uh, with Dr. Maria Rita Otero and Dr. Marcelo Arlego from the UNICEN and CONICET, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, they are my thesis directors for the PhD in Physics Science Education that I am doing there. The aim of this research is analyze uh, the knowledge transformations proposed on educational websites related to relativistic dynamics and how this knowledge is proposed. In this, in, in this investigation, the research questions are the following. The first of, of them is, what are the notions of relativistic dynamics proposed on websites for, for high school and introductory university courses, and what are their differences? The second one is, what similarities and differences exist respect to the knowledge that the textbooks propose for both levels? And finally, what are the implications for teaching the special theory of relativity? A central aspect of, the, of our research is the study of textualization and didactic transposition. In this context, the development of textbooks or other resources, such as websites, generates transformations in the knowledge to be taught and in the proposed to teach and in the taught finally knowledge. According to the theory of didactic transposition proposed uh, by Yves Chevalier, these are transpositive phenomena that can be investigated. It is important to analyze the textualization of a special theory of relativity in textbooks and digital resources and the knowledge transformations that this produce because they have a considerable impact on the knowledge top. Uh, it is important to recall, generally, teachers and authors of textbooks and websites don't analyze this transpositive phenomenon. Therefore, this anal analysis is fundamental for the design of a didactic sequence to teach the kinematic and dynamic aspect of the special theory of relativity, which we are uh, developing. The special theory of relativity introduced fundamental changes in several physics uh, concepts, uh, like space, time, energy, and mass. For this reason, efforts are made to introduce basic notions of relativistic dynamics in high school and introductory university courses. This can be seen in the recent inclusion of this theory in current curricula of the different countries, as reported in some uh, research. On the other hand, students have problems understanding the central concept of a special theory of relativity, uh, this is evident regarding origin and usefulness uh, of one of the most famous and socially disseminated physics equation, that is E equal mc squared. This leads to students and teachers in constantly turning to educational websites in the digital society. In previous research, we analyzed the textualization about relativistic dynamics in the most used textbooks in high school and introductory university courses. In this research, we conclude that the most university texts are based on the concept of momentum to study relativistic dynamics. On the other hand, a high school text generally begin with mass or with energy because the concept of momentum is not frequently taught in this context. In addition, 70% of university textbooks are used collision analysis-based approach, unlike high school textbooks where only 25% use this method. 
We also conclude that there is no differences between university and high school textbooks in the use of images and in the role given to empirical evidence. In addition, in high school textbooks, often relativistic dynamics is proposed in a narrative way and without references to its yeah. application, which make it unattractive. Now, uh, let me talk about yeah. the methodology. For this research, uh, a search was carried out for sites that aim to teach relativistic dynamics to basic university and high school uh, students in the main search engine. The 15 uh, selected websites were analyzed based on an inductive categorization, generating nominal variables and their respective modalities that arise from the considered corpus. Some of these variables coincide with those identified previously in the analysis focused on text. We identified 15 variables, educational level, type of resources, institution of the authors, navigability, images, use of simulations, and use of video. Uh, we can include these variables within a meta category called general characteristics. We also identify the variables gateway to relativistic dynamics, question and review classical dynamics to introduce relativistic dynamics, the role of the study of collisions, empirical evidence and applications of relativistic dynamics. We also distinguish websites according to the reformulation of the concept of momentum, mass, and energy. And we can include these variables within a meta category called knowledge transformations. In the next tables, uh, we show some of the variables with their modalities. As an example, let me describe, for instance, uh, three of them. Regarding general characteristics, websites can be uh, classified into three types according to their use of simulation. Sites that use simulations as a central resource to start use simulation, uh, but in a complementary way to reading text and sites that don't use simulation at all. Uh, regarding the transformation of knowledge, for example, sites can be classified into three modalities according to their gateway to relativistic dynamics. Some sites focus on the concept of mass, others on energy, and others on momentum. They can uh, also be classified according to the importance assigned to the experiment. For example, some websites now present uh, experimental evidence for explanations, others present a little evidence, and others present a lot of evidence. Okay, now I am going to present the main results of this research. For both educational levels, uh, videos and simulations are little used. Only one website presents uh, videos and two sites present simulation. As an example, we show a simulation presented by one of the websites. Uh, this is a simulation of a study a two-dimensional collision. Uh, in addition, about educational level, uh, written communications uh, is prized and very few images are used. As an example, uh, we show the main interface of relativistic dynamics on one of the websites. On the other hand, half of high school websites are disordered to navigate, and university websites are more attractive in this regard. This can be, see, uh, this can be seen in the figure. If we focus on knowledge transformations, a similarity can be seen between the approach taken by websites developed by educational institutions and textbooks. As the figure shows, in these cases, the concept of momentum predominates 
in the gateway to relativistic dynamics. Sites not linked to a specific institutions deviate from the usual treatment of physics text. As shown in the figure, they are based on the concept of mass and energy. We also notice an, ab an absence collisions analysis at high school level. In contrast, 40% of the university sites employed one-dimensional and two-dimensional collision with preponderance of two-dimensional case. Furthermore, there is no significant differences between both educational level about empirical references and applications of relativistic dynamics. At both levels are few empirical references and applications. About the argument of the websites for the introduction of relativistic dynamics and the revision of classical dynamics, we identify two main arguments. 80% of the websites that choose the momentum concept as a gateway take in the next argument. At high speed in relation with uh, light speed, classical momentum is not conserved, so it's necessary to review this classic concept. And 70%, uh, 75% of the websites that choose the mass concept as a gateway and 70% of the websites uh, that choose the energy concept take in the next argument. At high speed, in the relation with light speed, Newton's second law is not valid, so it's necessary to review the classical concept of mass and energy. Um, we identified two main uh, gateways to relativistic dynamics. The first, uh, the first one, and shown uh, as and shows in the right side of the figure, by means of classical mass and energy, questioning the validity of Newton's law in the relativistic limit. This approach is predominant on high school websites on half of the university levels. And the second one gateway as shown in the left side of the figure, the classical concept of momentum is addressed and its conservation is questioned. This approach predominates uh, on half of the university websites. And now I am going to list the main conclusion of this research. Momentum, mass, and energy are the main notions proposed by websites for teaching relativistic dynamics. And these websites distinguish between two main approaches using the same argument found in textbooks for both high school and university level. We consider the momentum-based approach is more epistemologically robust but it, uh, it is not switchable for high school to the prerequisite knowledge of classical collisions, which are not commonly covered. Uh, furthermore, we conclude that academic knowledge is fundamentally based on certain canonical physics texts. This is because the most websites developed by educational institutions transfer textbooks to knowledge online and they adapt textbooks content to modern formats, often neglecting unique features available on websites. Finally, physics education research is very important. Insufficient research in teaching relativistic dynamics contributes to, on the one hand, a limited use of simulations and videos on these websites, and on the other hand, didactically unswitchable disorganized and unmotivating sections of relativistic dynamics. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, muchas gracias, merci, obrigado. Thank you very much. Thank you. One quick question I have. Uh... It's not possible in high school at the beginning of university to make experiments concerning uh, 
relative physics. You have simulation maybe possible, but uh, sorry, uh, you can you repeat have... me the question. Yes, so the problem. You, you hear me? Do you hear me? I yes, it's No, 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 I, I speak English. The, the problem is, you know, considering, uh, concerning dynamics, uh, relativist physics, it's not possible to have experiments because physics in high school is based on experimentations. So it's impossible to have experimentations. Yes. So if you have not simulations on something like that, it's really difficult. Yes, so yes. what what they can do on websites and so on? Uh, the yes the the physics uh, experiment of the physics mo uh, modern physics and, and relativistic dynamics uh, is uh, is impossible, but uh, simulations. Uh, is very important for for the learning through through dynamic aspects, and only one only one website uh, present two two sites really present uh, videos uh, and simulations, and this is a, a a very grand problem. But maybe you don't know because there were there were and in France several years ago they had an experiment in uh, Orsay University with a pool to experiment uh, uh, um, uh, relativity. They used to have a complex simulation, very interesting simulation, and uh, physics detection of physics uh, have worked with that. You haven't seen that? I can send you uh, uh, elements about that. No, you don't know that. A, a very interesting work on simulation, a good simulation about relativity. Yeah. 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 OK. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, and, and 
Um, uh, maybe you know Cécile de Rosson. You know her? Cécile de Rosson. Who is a US Paris. Cécile de Rosson has worked as a didactician with that. Because they, they, uh, they have tested that, experimented that with several students uh, to understand and to uh, experience some concepts of relativity. But I understand that's very complex. So if it's not accessible, you understand what? You, you're making equations or whatever. It's very difficult in, in that case. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thank you. Hmm. Yes, but the question is always the same. How to understand concepts without doing nothing? So, how is it possible to acquire concepts that are based on what for uh, uh, students? If it's not possible to experiment something, uh, uh, it's very difficult to, to, to have a, a relation with that. Oh. The, the problem you say that the, the most important is concepts. Okay, but the other question is how to uh, acquire concepts for students. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I understand that the problem how to learn concepts is you have no exercises or no simulation, nothing, equations. Uh, it's just some uh, juridic things if you have no uh, basis, no things, uh, materiality to understand the concepts. Someone is telling you stories about that, but how to understand that without any experiments, without, I don't know, simulation and so on. It's very really difficult to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, 
Oh, oh. Okay. Have uh, another question? Hello, Marcelo and Richard. Uh, 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 I understand when you talk about the websites to learn physics and the textbooks, and we can have an imagine, we can imagine how was that in our education, since I had no idea what was relativity dynamics. And when I saw the formula on the, on the screen, I felt a complete idiot that have no idea what is going on. And of course, I, I, I start liking physics later on, working with my friends that uh, are in our research groups that slowly showed that physics was not that mean and I wouldn't die be because of it. And my question is, this I think it was very interesting comparing uh, 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 educational devices, in this case, the, the websites for university and high school. And the impression I have, I, I would like you to, to, to see through your research, but the impression that I have is that that, that there are not that many difference in what is made for university and what is made for high school. And maybe what is made for high school was a poor adaptation on what was thought for university. In other words, uh, people thought, uh, let's adapt set set. And that's maybe because people got so stupid in physics, like me, uh, as a good, a good example of it. And as you showed, sometimes the websites were even worse for high school, and they were bad for university. So how are you going to 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 make young young person love physics and like it if it's so bad? So it's not a very good question, but uh, I think it's a paradox on that. Uh, yes, the, the, um, the, the final uh, question, uh, I don't understand clearly. Uh, capaz que, no sé si tú entendiste, Marcelo, me puedes decir y yo lo, lo, lo trato de... ¿Cuál fue la pregunta en particular, lo último? Los libros fueron pensados, eh, escritos para la universidad y no para niños de la, de la, de la educación básica. Pero hay una adaptación eh, que los hace muy aburridos, muy malos para la educación. Es simple, es así. Sí, no sé sí, si esto libro... es cierto. Sí, lo, los libros eh, están hechos... Eh... Los libros que analizamos nosotros están hechos muchos para la universidad y otros para, para la escuela secundaria, ya el bachillerato, ya al final de, de, de la escuela secundaria. Y, y sí, son, son bastante aburridos y desmotivantes para los alumnos porque tienen un formato eh, que en general es muy... Eh, poco atractivo y, y no, 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 no llamativo. En el caso de los sitios web pasa algo parecido también. Eh, incluso eh, se nota más todavía la diferencia. Es, es peor en el caso de los sitios web porque termina siendo eh, una adaptación directa prácticamente de lo que está en los libros a lo que está en las páginas web. Es, de hecho, es como si fuera, podríamos considerarlos como si fuesen eh, libros online, algunos de ellos. Marcelo, ¿puedes traducir?
Thank you very much. And does anyone has any further questions? Well, so we are looking forward to see all the written results from every presentation. I see a lot of people online. See, I'm here. I does ah, okay. Now I can see myself. People are there everywhere. It's difficult to see. And uh, that's the that's the idea of the conference. It's to be able to know each other to be provoked in each other's research. And now we wait for the next step, it's to be able to see the proceedings as we have right now the very fresh proceedings from Florence. And very soon we have from Japan. Guilherme? Yes. Guilherme? Yes. <laughs> I, I would like to suggest a contact uh, between the group of Argentina and Uruguay with our group, Professor Nilson Garcia is here, is the physician, and Alison Martins, we have two physicians in, in our group, and <laughs> they are st uh, studying uh, <laughs> this, this STEM, uh, and uh, I think that it would be a, a great opportunity to make contact. Yes, but yes. Perfect. I would suggest the chat still open. I think the session uh, finished because of the timing of the next session. But since the chat is open, I think if Professor Nilsson could put his email and as uh, Richard Javier and Marcelo, so you could change the each other's email. And Maria Ote Rita. And Maria Rita, too. <laughs> okay. yeah. Thank you, Guilherme. He used to in the other room. <laughs> so that's it's my it's it's our research group. Professor Atania is the one that was it was with me in my presentation. We are together, and she's the coordinator of a group. And Professor Nilsson, the one it's there, it's the physics one, who is going to be presenting in the other room. Yes. Okay, did you put the emails in the chat? Did it work? I don't know. Yes, sure, sure. Sure. Yeah, it did. Okay. Sorry? We, we finished, yeah. Now now it's going to be alive. They're just putting their emails. I, I'm not even going to close the room since... Ah, perfect. Excellent. I'm going to go outside to change rooms, but since nobody's closing the room, I just let it open. You can talk to each other. Bye. <laughs> Very good. Já nos vemos. This is all about the, the... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.